Now to that other breaking news we share with you at the top of the broadcast for the first time tonight. We now have a picture of the man with special needs who officials say disappeared aboard this boat, the Carnival Fantasy Cruise Line. It's been nearly 48 hours since a 22 year old was last seen. Our Toy Thornton is live at the Mobile Cruise Terminal with more on this story. And Toy, do they still think the man is on board? Well, Byron, I asked that question, but I haven't gotten an answer yet. And after two days of searching on board, it's not looking likely. But tonight, we now know a little bit more about the man that's missing at sea. These flyers are posted all throughout the Carnival Fantasy tonight. The flyer showing the picture of a 22-year-old man with special needs who disappeared over the weekend. Officials say he was with the group that he ran off from and hasn't been seen since. They say chaperones, boat crew, and the Mexican Navy, including a canine, searched the ship all day yesterday, but still no sign of the missing man. Officials say they even reviewed surveillance footage multiple times. One person aboard the ship tells us the ship's captain came over the PA system paging Luke multiple times Sunday night. After that didn't work, the passenger says one of the man's chaperones came over the loudspeaker and called for him. The ship left the port of Mobile Saturday for a five-day cruise and is currently getting ready to leave Cozumel, Mexico. According to transportation.gov, there were at least six missing persons on Carnival cruise ships over the past year. The latest was this past weekend in Miami. Report Reporter Andrew Dembert with the Fox affiliate in Miami covers many stories like this one. He says what makes the search process more difficult in this case is no one saw the man go overboard. Those cases are obviously a lot more difficult because, you know, that person could theoretically still be on the ship. And if they did go overboard, uh, there's really no way to tell when they did unless it's captured by surveillance, which is also really difficult if you can't you know, pin down a time, especially on longer cruises where Officials say the onboard searching continues today. The fantasy is set to return to Mobile Thursday morning. For now, reporting live in Mobile, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News.